Hey, this is Dan with Plugin District. I'm just going to walk you through setting up these uh, WordPress automatic updates for your custom built plugins. Um, you know, it's nice to have this out of the box look and feel for your customers. It's also, what I'm going to walk you through, it's pretty easy to manage because it's just pulling the update from your Git repository, which is uh, makes it so you don't have to package a release and store it somewhere. It can just pull it straight from Git. Um, I use GitLab, uh, it gives you a free private repository, um, but I recommend any GitLab, Bitbucket, or GitHub. So um, let's go ahead and walk through this. The I'm going to put a link for this uh, plugin update checker down below, but it was created by Giannis Eltz. Um, a few people have worked on it, 20 other contributors, and it's it's a pretty solid plugin that I just started using. Um, you can point to self-hosted, GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab. I'm just going to I've got a plugin that we need to put this in, so we'll just walk through that real quick. Um, so as you can see here, I've got my plugin open in VS Code, and uh, the first step you want to do is download this plugin update checker. So go ahead and download the zip file, and the folder is going to have a dash 4.4. You'll want to remove that, so just plugin dash update dash checker. You're going to copy that folder into your the root of your main plugin. Um, as you can see, I've copied it here. And here's the main plugin. And the next step is, um, you know, I'm going to paste this code down below in the description, but you're going to go ahead and um, paste this in. And I'll walk through what each, each line is real quick. So this is just pointing to that new folder that you've dropped in, and it loads the plugin update checker. And uh, this is the URL to your GitLab repository. So this is my GitLab repo here. So main plugin. And then this is just a slug name for the plugin. And then this authentication, that is an access token. So if you're watching this video, you probably want to use a private repository so that way not everyone can access your code. Um, so to get a private access token or personal access token, you go into your profile on GitLab and edit, and then you're going to click on access tokens, um, add a name, you'll want API read repository, and click create, and then you'll get a string. I'll change this here that way. Um, you know, it's more secure, but uh, you'll get this string that you just paste in here. That gives the plugin access to check the repository um, for updates. And then this is the branch that you want to point it to. Um, I just point mine to master. This is it. This is all you have to do from a code base perspective. You can drop this onto any of your plugins that you're creating. And then I'll kind of show you how to push updates out for these. Um, what this plugin does is it compares this version number to a tag on um, to a tag on GitLab or your Git repo, whatever you tag it. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you here. Here's a demo site that I have. And if you look at plugin district order barcodes, it's just normal. You can click check for updates. And that'll go out and check to see if there's any updates. And it says it's up to date currently. So I've got version 1.2 in my repo and I have version 1.2 here. Let's go ahead and force a new version to go. So I'm just going to call this 1.3. We're going to save that and push that into the repo. Okay, and let's push that up. Um, once you push your update into the repo and you're ready to push it out to your customers, all you have to do now is go into tags and create a tag with that new version number. So I'm just going to call this V1.3. And you can do um, release notes here and create tag. That is it. You don't have to copy any files, bundle them together. You know, in the past, we've bundled them in zip files and emailed links out to customers, but then you're hosting it. Um, this is pulls directly from GitLab, which is kind of nice. So if I refresh this page, um, so here's the other thing. So it'll check every 12 hours. Um, or you can, your customer can force it to check for an update. So if they click check for updates, 
that tells it, hey, I want to go ahead and check. And hey, there's a new version of the plugin available. And here we go. Then your customer can just click update and they will get the latest version from GitLab. It is as easy as that. So go ahead and take a look at it. Leave a comment down below if you found this useful. Or if you have a better, quicker, easier way, let me know. I'm all about um, trying new things. But so far at Plugin District, this seems like uh, um, pretty quick, easy uh, to do. So thanks for checking out the video. Have a great day.